here I am with a new video. Today I have for you the winter favorites. Of course, this video, as always, is in collaboration with Jessica from the channel Jessica Mix. And I send you a big kiss, girl. Hi. And of course, I link below in the description box all the details about her channel and the link to the video she she made, of course, in collaboration with me. Okay, let's start by beauty products. I have a skincare product. This is by L'Herboristica. It's a peeling face with a base of argan oil and granules for revitalized and luminous silk, uh, skin, sorry. This makes your skin like silk, of course. And it's so amazing. It gives my skin so radiant and of course uh, get, mm, takes away all the dirt and it's not that harsh on my skin. Uh, I think this is, could be perfect for delicate skin and yeah, I simply love it. I use this for all January and February and yeah, it's now a super must have for me. From the same line, uh, same brand, the Verbolistica, I have a hand cream, hand and nail cream with cotton oil and rice proteins. I wanted a new hand cream because I started to feel like my hands uh, needed a bit more to be treated well and I wasn't caring too much about them so I forced myself to buy a hand cream to protect them from the cold for winter weather or the wind and I found that this is perfect. Oh by the way, this is a brand that completely it's a completely natural brand, organic. I think uh, it's also vegan. Uh, it's against, it's not animal tested, so it's perfect because it's all natural. And um, yeah, the smell, the organic scrub doesn't have a quite a quite heavy scent. It's really um, it's not natural, but it's. It's okay. And the hand cream, I don't know how to describe this smell, but I don't like that much the scent this hand cream has, but it's completely tolerable for me. And mm, yeah, I think that this brand is very, very, it's not the cheapest one uh, at the drugstore, I think, and also in the super, you can find it in the supermarkets as well. It's not the cheapest, but it's very, very really good in my opinion. Okay, so now let's talk about makeup. I want to start by na with nails this time because I use quite a lot of these kind of nail polishes. I have two examples here. These are by Pupa uh, and they are from the Velvet Matte line, lasting color Velvet Matte. I think it was a collection uh, that came out last year? I don't remember very well when. But I really liked opaque nails and these are a very ink blue, a very bright ink blue and it's number 008, number 8. And this is a, a burgundy mauve shade, it's very very peculiar and it's number 4. And I love the finish of these. They dry so quickly and yeah, they stay on quite a lot even if you cannot put a top coat over it if you don't want to put a matte top coat to protect the nails otherwise you, you lose the matte effect if you put a top coat, a shiny top coat over it but yeah, I really like them On to face products, I have two The first one is the Master Scott by Maybelline in the shade 1, of course, light medium. This is a contour and highlight palette. You all know this one because it was so big on the internet months month ago. But I started using this in December. And we have the bronzing powder, the contour powder, and then the highlight. Both are really pretty and 
not that much pigmented, which I like a lot. Uh, underneath, there's like this kind of brush that I don't use because I don't like. I try to use it to test it, but gives it so the fibers are so dense, it gives like a sharp line, and you cannot blend it. So I hate it. And also, there's the little mirror. And uh, yeah, I really like to, since it was the first product I bought um, to start to contour my face, I think it's pretty nice and I really recommend it if you are new to contouring and highlighting. I think this is pretty, pretty good. And the other one is a blush by Slay Cosmetics and this is the color Antique. Yeah, it's Antique. It's this gorgeous color that if you look at it, like by the pan, you think this is gonna be nothing because it, lo it looks like a browny mauve. There are a lot of shimmers, but if you see from the swatch on my finger, it doesn't look like anything. But when you swatch it and when I apply it on my cheeks, OMG is just the perfect for color of blush for me. I simply love it. I used it all over winter. Basically every day I was wearing this shade. And the sleek blushes are so cheap in comparison of how high quality they are. I simply love it and I think I'm gonna buy more because uh, by now they are the best blushes I've ever tried. Yeah. I'm completely sold for these blushes. Um, I want to move on with eyes. I have three products, more or less. The first one is the Creme Shadow by Nabla Cosmetics in the color Pinkwood. It's the prettiest pinky mauve brown shade. I use it all over the lid and sometimes I blend it also in my crease. I use it alone, I use it as a base for other shadows. I simply love this color. You have to work the product quite a lot to, to make it blendable and creamy, but I assure you that this color is and the product is stunning because okay, I made quite a big swatch. Hopefully you can see it. It's such a unique color. I have nothing like this in my collection. And as soon as I saw it, I knew immediately that I had to have it because it's so, so beautiful. It's um, 5 ml of product in the pot. I think that full price is like 12 euros. That to me, I know it's vegan, it's completely natural. Uh, but to me it's kind of quite pricey for just this amount of product. I know it's amazing, but I I bought I bought it when there were there were the sales and I also I'm planning to buy another cream shadow but I'm waiting for some sales because I don't wanna pay twelve euros for this little tiny even if a little goes a long way but I know, I feel like this. <laughs> then I have two more eyeshadows by Nabla. These are the classic um, eyeshadow pen and are these two. This is Desire and this is Circle. They're both from the Artica collection and they are, of course, all Nabla's eyeshadows are gorgeous. But these two were two colors that I was looking for. I, I, I was waiting for them, that someone could bring them in the market because Desire is the prettiest rose gold shade I've ever seen and Circle is a pinky mauve that is perfect for, for the crease and they're just beautiful. Uh, a makeup look that I used quite a lot was putting a pink hood as a base and all over I put desire and then the crease a uh, circle and that's it. Winged eyeliner, mascara and you're done. These shadows are 
so pigmented and so buttery and the quality is just amazing. If you've never tried Nabla eyeshadows, I really, really, really recommend you try at least a couple because you won't regret it. And lastly for eyes, I have a palette which is by Makeup Revolution London and it's the Iconic Pro 2 which is the dupe for the um, how is it called? The Lorac Pro. I bought the Lorac Pro 1 in New York and I was sure I wanted to buy that one because it's more neutral as a palette. Well, the Iconic 2, oh, there's also a big, it's quite good this brush, it's double ended. Uh, one is for the lid and one is for blending the crease. These are the colors of this palette which are gorgeous, are to die for and I think that the quality, even if it's not the same as the Laura palette, is amazing for the price. If I remember well, this is like 8 euros. The quality is amazing. I use all the shadows. There are no shadows that I don't like. They're so pigmented and creamy, especially the... Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to blind you. Especially the shimmery ones. These three... No, four. One, two, three, four. I love these eyeshadows. This palette is so brilliant and I hugely recommend this palette. I think also the iconic one. Um, if you don't have the possibility to buy uh, the iconic Pro, uh, the um, Lorac Pro palette, check those out because they're stunning. Okay, now let's talk about lips. The first product I want to mention is the uh, moisturizing lip balm. This one is by Burst Bees. Uh, my lips this winter have been the driest possible. I started using um, a lip balm that I I don't remember how it's called because I lost it and I wasn't loving it. But I wanted to show you that one in this video, but I lost it like a month ago, so I had to to find a substitute. And this is a chapstick that I bought when I was in New York and it's by Barbie. It's the Honey Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is 100% natural and I don't remember how much I paid it but I know for sure that I had to buy more because I fell immediately in love with this lip product. It's as simple as it looks. It smells like honey so heavily. I simply love it. And this one, just tiny bit, goes a long way. After a week that I had no lip balm, I tried it and amazingly my lips turned normal. They became as full of, as plump as they were before. Uh, this sinks into your lips. It's so moisturizing. I really, really, really recommend it. If you know how can I, where I can where I can find more, please tell me because I need them. So I, I I just I am just in love with this product. I want so I want to try all the other. I know there are other flavors. If you know them, please list them below and tell me if you have tried them. How do you think? But yeah, this is a product I really 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 recommend to try. And then I had three lipsticks. Of course, during winter, I'm all about berry lips, uh, dark lips, vampy lips. But first of all, I want to show you uh, the new a nude lipstick that most of the time, if I if I was wearing a nude lipstick, was this one, which is a Mac lipstick, and it's faux. I'm gonna swatch it. It's a really, really pinky nude, very light on my lips, is lighter than it shows on, on my, oh my god, I cannot speak anymore, on my hand looks darker than it looks on my lips, but I really like it how it looks. This is a satin finish, which is probably my favorite finish by MAC lipsticks, and yeah, this is simply the perfect nude for me, I think this is my lip my color that makes 
uh, oh my god, I cannot speak. I'm so sorry for this today. Uh, by the way, my lips but better color. Yeah, that's definitely mine. Then I have two more. One is a white and white lipstick in the color Cherry Balm, which is a very dark, dark, dark. Mm. Ha. How to describe it's not red. There is a hint of berry, a hint of. No, I wouldn't say brown. It's a berry red, a very, very dark berry red. It's so gorgeous. As you know, white and white lipsticks are so cheap, but so good. This will last forever on your lips. And then the third color is by NYX. It's an intense body gloss in the color Toasted Marshmallow. I really love the formula of these lipsticks. Yeah, because it's not a lip gloss. Look at the pigmentation first. It's amazing, it's amazing. And this color is so unique because it has a little, little brown, there's some purple in it. I don't know how to describe, maybe a more sour color? I don't know, but it's so, so good. And it lasts quite a lot. You have to be careful when you apply it because it will smudge around your lips. If you do not use a lip liner underneath or around the edges of your mouth, but this is so stunning, so pigmented, and so comfortable that I really, really recommend those if you can try them because they're great. And lastly, as a beauty product, let's say I have a perfume that I've already shown you during my uh, last haul, my Christmas and sales haul. And it's the Jo Malone perfume, is the Pomegranate Noir Cologne. And even if I use it so little, because I don't want to splurge, I don't want to waste this, this perfume because it's so good, but it's so expensive. Damn. This 30ml is 50 euros, but it was a Christmas gift, so. I can't blame myself for to have spent so much money on, on this perfume but I was dying to try a Jo Malone fragrance and yeah, I think this is the perfect for me I simply love it, it's so persistent I just spritz it one time in the morning and like during the evening I would still smell it it's so great it's so Oh my god, I just love it. It's not for any, it's for everyone. I think it's a more mature scent, not for little girls. I think if you're over your 20s, you could wear it, but underneath, below your 20s, I don't think it, it would suit you because it's so, it's quite dark, it's so intense. Yeah, as I said, it's more a mature fragrance, but I love this scent. Okay, now I have three more products, three more favorites that are more random. The first I want to show you is fashion related because I don't have any piece of clothing to show you this time because from January to mid-February I was grounded at home. If it was my home, my boyfriend's home or the house I live in at university because I had to study so much for exams that I basically never went out. So I had any piece of clothing to show you. Probably it would be my pajamas because I never went out from home. But I have these pair of shoes that I also showed you in my previous haul that I'm gonna link below. These I bought them from ASOS, are a pair of offer shoes and they're the perfect pair I was looking for. They're from a brand called Park Lane, that is quite expensive, but I bought them during the sale, the winter sale, so it was a great bargain, also, also because these are real leather shoes. And at first, they're not the most comfortable shoes, but after you start to wear them, uh, you, you get used to them. And I really like the style of the shoes. Uh, yeah, I simply love them. Then the second thing 
is tea, of course. I'm a tea addict. I drink at least two cups of tea a day. And this is by far my favorite. I keep repurchasing this. It's so damn good. It's the Lipton Tea Vanilla, vanilla Caramel. It's, so, it's very intense. It's black tea, I think. Um, yeah, black tea with caramel and vanilla beans. It's just if you open the pack, it, it smells so overwhelming and so powerful. I simply love this tea. If you are a tea lover and you want to try something new, something very rich in flavor, I really recommend this to you because it's so damn good. And I think I have only, no, I have quite a lot of filters left, but yeah, I have to plan to repurchase this because I don't want to run out because it's my favorite to eat this one. And then my last favorite is something I have on myself because I've never told in the page um, and also in other videos that uh, in December I had my first tattoo which uh, you can see on Instagram. I posted a picture or two, I don't remember how many. By the way, if I can show you, I try to show you. I have it on my shoulder. Here it is. I hope you can see it. Uh, it's a daffodil, which is my favorite, favorite flower. Uh, also, uh, it's the title and the protagonist, let's say, of my favorite poem of all time, which is called Daffodil, of course. It's by the romant English romantic poet uh, William Wordsworth. I also use this poem in my uh, university graduation uh, thesis. I simply love this poem and this flower means so much to me. Uh, I also discovered that it means something like uh, strength and the ability to survive through difficulties. I don't remember very well. If you check on the internet, you can find all the meanings of this flower. And I simply love how this tattoo turned out because I wanted a tattoo for so long. I think I was 16 when I first started to think about tattoos, but I never found the perfect um, object to tattoo. And, and then it was like September that I figured out, okay, this is perfect. Why well, I have never thought of it? Because it's me. It's, this flower really represents me. And I simply love it. So, um, I think that's the end of the video. I really hope that you liked it. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, I would be very, very happy. I'm sorry if sometimes I, I wasn't that chatty today, well, I was chatty, but uh, I couldn't think properly to, about the words to say, I'm sorry for this today. Uh, of course, go check it out, Jessica's video, I will link it down below, and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys!